The moment is here, my friends. What is up, YouTube? I am Nintendo Man 64. I started my YouTube channel in 2009. Technically, 2008 was the first time I had one, but I digress. Had to shut it down for reasons. Since then, I have done a wide variety of things. But most recently, I've been doing Let's Plays. We have successfully completed two Let's Plays so far. Two completely completed, one semi-completed, and we are going to make one fourth. Make our fourth one completed within the next two episodes of Pokemon Heart Gold. We have developed a team, which I think is one of the most powerful Pokemon teams I have ever assembled. Let's look at them one last time. Oh, or not. I could press the wrong button. Spike, our Sand Slash. Knows the moves Earthquake, Poison Jab, Rock Slide, and Strength. Falcor, our Altaria, Steel Wing, Fly, Dragon Pulse, and Dragon Breath. Dan Green, our Typhlosion, Flamethrower, Smokescreen, Eruption, and Shadow Claw. Aether, our Espeon, Psybeam, Psychic, Bite, and Shadow Ball. Baloo. Rock Climb, Yawn, Slash, and Hammer Arm. Chow Chow, Our Lantern. Signal Beam, Surf, Ice Beam, and Discharge. This is it, guys. This is where boys become men. Here we have right here, the most epic battle in any Pokemon game that I have played so far. For when you walk up ahead, we have to make it dramatic, so I'm going to turn running shoes off. We're going to make it dramatic. Who stands atop the mighty platform? We see there's a person there. We see he has a red hat. He overlooks two regions with incredible finesse. And incredible power. This, my friends, he goes by the name of Red in these parts. I knew him by a different name. And that name was Endman 64. I shit you not. Meat. Red, as we called him, Endman 64. He starts out with a Pikachu, which is 18 levels higher than mine. I didn't know they hiked the levels as much, but oh well, level 70 is not bad a way to start. Alright, Iron Tail misses for Pikachu, that's not bad at all. Okay, Pikachu is the one Pokemon on a team that worries the ever-loving crap out of me, but I digress. We've beaten worse in our lifetime. And I think Earthquake, yep, that is a down Pikachu, guys. Oh, baby, that's one down, five to go. I am not afraid of most of the other Pokemon. Not afraid at all, actually. Okay, he's about to send out Lapras. Lapras, as you guys remember, is a water ice type. Great power, great overall ability, however, it does have a few major weaknesses, such as fighting and electricity, plus the added on ability of ice places uh, its weakness to fire in half, or its, its strength over fire in half, so give or take with that. Let us use Discharge to try to take out this Lapras, one of two water types he has on his team. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. Okay. Let's see, Chow Chow can take a hit. Yes, he can. And But he's going to get buffeted with hail, so after the next hit, we're probably going to have to heal. Uh, let's try Discharge again. Guys, this is, this is the fight I've been waiting for. The fight I've been waiting on pins and needles for since we first started this. Alright, Body Slam. He's going to stick to that, because I think most of his moves are water and ice related, so... 
Alright, so we are gonna... I think he's gonna full restore here, so I think we have a free shot at him. Yeah, and we do, so that's good. So he'll get a free shot at us next turn, but... Hopefully we'll either A, paralyze Lapras, or B, do a ton of damage, so... The jury can be out. Hey, you never know, we get a critical hit. Well, probably not. Oh, baby! Oh, it's getting stronger, though, so that's okay. I've never understood how it sometimes does a lot of damage, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe I should have had a Pokemon that can change the weather. I don't know. Because this hail thing is get, gets on your nerves really fast. But we'll use a full restore. We have plenty of them. This is not going to be a rehash of that Lance fight, which was an absolute disaster. But taking out Pikachu in one shot was the most important part of that fight. Oh, shh! Sugar Honey I see. Uh, oh, it does the same amount of damage Body Slam did, so apparently Lapras isn't, is Lapras isn't as good as I thought it was. Uh, we'll probably have to heal again, but whatever. Discharge is doing its job. Ooh, he might use another forest. Ooh, paralyzed! Nice! And it used Body Slam, so that's fine. It depends on what he does next. Ah, uh, want to get a free shot at him again? Well, he's paralyzed, so he can't move. He's, I think I know he's going to throw Venusaur out next, which is his next Pokemon. So we'll probably have to have a Sacrificial Lamb go out and take him out. So Chow Chow can heal, because Chow Chow's job is not done yet. But look at all that. <laughs> That's how powerful your Pokemon are at this point in the game, where you almost get 4,000 experience points and it doesn't even make you flinch. Oh yeah, Venusaur's coming out next, so... Dan Green, welcome to the show, man. You get your shot now to take out a mighty Venusaur. You guys remember Venusaur, the grass poison type. This thing is ungodly powerful. But hopefully... Eruption should take care of this thing. Because this thing is also weak to uh, ice type, so I think Eruption should do the drill, should do the job. Oh, shite. Oh, you rat bastard. Sleep powder, really? I don't even know what moves he has, okay? So I'm going into this completely blind. I'm going to put the moves his Pokemon have up at some point, but... You guys should know that I'm going into this fight 100% blind up to what moves he knows. I know his Lapras new Psychic and uh, Body Slam. Alright, Sludge Bomb, that's fine. Uh, might do a lot of damage. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, good, it lived. Okay. Your job right now, Flamethrower. Just take it out. Take it out and your job is done because I honestly think you will not get another round against anybody here. Okay. Yes. Dan Green, take the hit. You're a good boy, though. You're a good boy. You should be honored. All right, Blastoise. You know what, Dan Green? You're going to have to be in there. I need, I need to... I need to heal a guy up, so... If that means you have to be the Sacrificial Lamb, I am sorry, but... I need Chow Chow healed up. There's no way I'm gonna send Chow Chow out that weak against him. And Dan Green, pretty much, now that Venusaur's gone, your desk is complete. Now it's just up to me to take out the next four po three Pokemon. Oh, Focus Blast. Now, luckily, Focus Blast only has five PP, so... It's not like it matters. Alright, Dan Green's out. Last ice will get hit with the thing, because it's not an ice type. Alright, Chow Chow, let's do this. Discharge again. Alright, Focus Blast could do some damage. I'm not sure how much, though. Uh... No, it didn't do a lot, actually. 
It's actually a good thing. I was honestly thinking early on that Blastoise was going to get taken out by uh, Slacking, but thank God I didn't because he knows Focus Blast. Hmm. Now, you're not faster than Blastoise. You've already established that. The question is, that took out... Oh, uh, it's risky. It's very risky. We'll risk it. Of course, Focus Blast hits again. Oh, whatever. Whatever, guys. Hopefully, we live. And it doesn't do any major damage. And yeah, it killed us. Of course, it gets a critical hit. Oh, oh well. All right. Next up to take out Blastoise has got to be Aether. Aether, I know, is faster than him, and if he's not me, I get struck down by a flying ice cream truck. And that's a down Blastoise, so... That's not the po that's not his last Pokemon that worries me. All of his Pokemon really worry the crap out of me. But... Okay, yeah, that's the one that worries me. Uh, we'll start we'll... Snorlax! Versus Baloo. Snorlax, you guys remember, is the gigantic wastoid of a Pokemon. Very fat, very lazy, but also incredibly durable and incredibly powerful. Objective is simple. Make this thing yawn. Make this thing tired. Then waste a turn healing after a move. Because we're probably going to need it. But then again, uh, Snorlax's special attack isn't the best. But then again, my special defense isn't the best, and of course I got frozen. So... Snorlax should fall asleep next turn. So I'm gonna heal myself. Thank God I got all these full restores when I did. I almost went into this fight without any of them. Like I started, I was about to start recording and I realized, oh my God, I don't have any items. I got plenty of stuff now. Alright, but he froze me, so that's not good. Hopefully he doesn't freeze me again. He probably will. I know this game's bullcrap by now. But Snorlax fell asleep, so unless it has a stupid lumberry, like that stupid cow did, this should not be too much of a problem. And it does not, so that's good. Hammer arm. May lower my speed, but... I've got so much attack power that Snorlax should really not stand much of a chance. I'd be stunned if this thing manages to survive. And it's still asleep, so it gives me an opportunity to heal myself. He's probably going to heal himself too. So, same strategy applies. Put him to sleep. Yeah, I get the, I know the drill at this. I know this game's crap by now. Yawn. And if it doesn't freeze me, we use an item. Actually, no, I'm not liking my luck there, so. Uh, let's use a hyper potion. Let's not use all my full restores. I know I can probably get away with it, but. Okay, fall asleep. Ah, uh, I think I'm slacking off this turn. Actually, no, I'm not. So yeah, hammer arm. And nice. Lowers my speed, but I'm not that worried yet. Uh, let's use dire hit. You can use a full restore. And okay. That's the only times I'll speed up during the fight when I know deep down I don't have a shot in hell, so... Alright, so we'll heal up Baloo. This is, this is all, this is where Pokemon strategy is at its best, okay? Alright, he's gotta be running out of uh, PP for Blizzard soon. Cause that's like his sixth. Luckily it hasn't frozen me though. Alright, so I can't use anything this turn, so while I'm here, 
We're using X speed to get some of that speed back. Don't know what he's gonna use next. Crunch! Okay. Uh, interesting choice, but whatever. I'm not here to argue. Now, I could technically get away with getting another attack in, but I'd rather not. This is all strategy here, guys. At this point, this is one of the fights where you can't really go into one with a lot of challenges with Pokemon only at level 70. Like, if you went in with Pokemon at level, like, 80 and stuff, it'd probably be easier, but... Like, to do challenges. But you know what? I don't care about challenges, like, no items and none of that stuff. I'm playing this game to the best of my ability. And I'm not the best Pokemon player in the world. I will admit that. Um... I think this is the last turn I can avoid not getting hit. Um, I could have just screwed myself over. I could have gotten a nice, made to get a nice attack in, but I don't know. I have attack power now, and I'm not. I'm likely not going to have to suffer through another intense special attack. So there's that. I know I'm faster than him. So let's just hope Hammer Arm hits. And I was right. And if it hits, then that is one gigantic problem taken care of. Figuratively and literally. Yes! Baloo, you are a god among men. Okay. Now his last Pokemon, as usual, for all these big major boss battles, has to be a freaking Charizard. Oh. This time around, I learned my lesson. Spike, you're up. And if you fall down in this fight, I won't have much of a choice. I'll have to bring out, like, Falcor or something. Um, Rock Slide. Alright, Air Slash. Might do some decent damage. Might even kill me. It did not... Oh, you suck. Of course you make me flinch. Every time they use the freaking move to make me flinch, I flinch. Ugh. Ugh. Charizard, why do you have to be so frustrating? Okay, air slash again. So to be honest, at this point, Spike should just be a sacrificial lamb. It's not like he's gonna do much else, because all I'm gonna be doing is keep healing him. I'm in the retroactive healing cycle. So at this point, I think I can see only one Pokemon that can take him out on my team. Without any major problems. And that would be Chow Chow. So technically the only Pokemon that hasn't seen any action so far is Falcor, and I'd hope to I would like to keep it that way, but you never know. I may find it in- I may find- Oh, good thing I didn't bring out Falcorino's Dragon Pulse! Surprisingly, he hasn't used a fire attack yet. I'd be surprised if he even knew one at this point. Air Slash, this rat bastard. You and your frickin' Air Slashes, Charizard. Yeah, I dare you to use Air Slash against frickin' Chow Chow. See how that works out for you. Discharge should do a decent amount of damage, especially since they have the magnet on. And would you not like to turn off screen? That's like really annoying when you do that. Ooh, paralysis! Speed advantage taken down. Question is, does he have another full restore? There's only one way to find out. And that's to follow the Tony Stark metaphor. The Tony Stark's plan of action. I have a plan. Attack! Alright, yeah, he has another full restore. But that's not like it matters to me. Just use Surf. Do some damage against him. And... What? What? Woohoo! That is a dead Charizard! Holy moly! Holy moly von Stroganoff!
What a fight that was! And dots up the yin yang for Red, who disappears and leaves us atop the mountain as the kings of both the Kanto and Johto regions. You keep saving there. No problem with that. More credits? I think we have more credits. Yeah, more credits! Maybe it'll be the Kanto version. No, it looks like the exact same credits. Let's see. Who the first gym leader is that popped up? An egg? But boy, was that a wickedly awesome fight. Totally worth it. And Lyra? I just look at her with contempt. And Kaiba? What a jerk. That joik. Yep, this is the repeat credits. So we don't have to watch that again. I just wanted to be sure. You never knew. They could have added all the uh, Kanto gym leaders, but apparently they did not. Because they're newbies. I don't know. Okay, guys. That was Pokemon Heart Gold, but I'm not going to go and give any big heaping thanks and praise to anybody yet because we've got one last a couple more things to take care of and we'll be taking care of that next episode guys the final one is coming guys sayonara